is he going though? Don't know it is too hard. Wow. Oh, 2024 World Pool Championship, the biggest ranking event organized this year in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. 128 players and record price money of 1 million US dollars, where winner takes 250,000. As the big surprise of this tournament, we can spot some big names like Albino Sean, Josh Filler, Jason Shaw or SVB, who lost their chances before quarterfinals. But as the biggest shock, I need to mention defending champion Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, who lost his last 64 match against Mickey Krause. In Final Four, we could see two big favorites, Fedor Gorst and Eklund Kacik. However, as strong contenders were Wojciech Shevchik and Filipino Johan Chua, who played right in front of the magician Efren Batareyes, who was present in the hall. And this time, experience turned to be the key, as both favorites advanced to the final after very tough and close battles. And I think that everyone expected a great and dramatic final, and this time was no different. Fedor started this match very strongly, dominating the first half of the match leading 8-3. But then he made a few mistakes, which allowed Kachi to get closer to the score of 11-9. Fedor, who won World Pool Masters this season, wins another two racks, which gave him a high lead of 39 and was just two racks from another big win. However, then Eklund reached a very high level and started playing very effectively, which resulted that he wins five racks in a row, and with a score of 14-13, he was only one rack away from another big achievement. After dry catches break in the 28th rack, Fedor led to a draw and we could witness a dramatic deciding rack. The first great chance was given to Kachi, who decided to play a very precise safety shot, but he made a huge and unexpected mistake, scratching in the corner pocket. And it was a huge chance for Fedor, who with the kill in hand perfectly finished remaining loud on the table and won second World Nimble Champion title in his career and check for 250,000 US dollars. Anyway, we could see a lot of great shots and I decided to choose top 20 and recreate all of them as accurately as possible with fewest possible attempts. To better understand each shot, I will show you what spin and speed I am using on the cubo and determine difficulty and recreation accuracy. So in this case, please make sure to leave a thumbs up for me and hit the subscribe button, as this kind of support will significantly help me to grow my channel. Let's go! We need to start my classification with this offensive backshot with precise positioning by David al -Qaidi and I was able to recreate this shot in my very first attempt. Moving forward, we need to see this very nice two-rail kick shot with precise positioning by Fedor Gorst. And once again, it was not a big problem for me because I recreated this shot in my second attempt. Eighteenth place goes to Chris Maling and this perfect opening of blocked free ball. Initially, I struggled to find correct amount of side spin, but despite this, I was able to open free ball very quickly and get nice position. Next place goes to Jeffrey Ignacio and this perfect free rail positioning. I thought that this shot would be much harder to execute for me, but to my surprise, 
I was able to recreate it without bigger problems in my seventh attempt. Sometimes spotting is not necessary and we need to see this perfect safety shot by Eklund Kachi. I needed very thin contact and correct amount of side spin, which took me some problems at the beginning, but hopefully I recreated this shot very quickly almost with perfect accuracy. Another perfect safety shot presented this time by Jonas Soto Komino. It was very difficult for me to strike for ball enough fin and up like correct amount of side spin. However, after some very bad shots, I was able to leave the cue ball almost behind the seven ball, which is absolutely acceptable. One of the most spectacular shots where Fedorgorst executed this beautiful kiss shot and making this ball was not very hard because I recreated it in my very first attempt. Alex Kazakis presented this very offensive bank shot in match with Shane Van Boning and after some initial problems to hit 6 ball correctly, I was able to make this ball very quickly but Cubo landed a bit too far. Twelfteenth place goes to Valet Al Bakli and this spectacular kick shot executed against FSR in round one. I needed very thin contact and I thought it may be difficult to simultaneously pot two ball and make position for the next ball. But it didn't take me a lot of time and with a bit of luck I created perfect position for the next ball. Absolutely massive long jump shot with perfect positioning by Zhao Grillo, executed against Viktor Zelensky and as I expected, it was difficult for me to find correct trajectory for the cue ball. But I was extremely surprised because I potted two ball very quickly and got very lucky position for free ball which is acceptable. We are entering the top 10 with this very creative shot and opening of 5 ball by Alex Pagulayan. This shot required high precision and some luck to get good position for the 5 ball and I was so lucky because I opened these balls very quickly with high accuracy in my 4th attempt. Another stunning jump shot with perfect position for the next ball presented by master of this kind of shots Fedor Gors, and I was absolutely sure that due to very uncomfortable position it may be impossible for me to recreate this shot but it was extreme shock when I executed it perfectly in my very first attempt. Eighth place goes once again to Fedor Gorst and this massive kick and stick in final match against Eklund Kachi. From the beginning I struggled to find correct amount of side spin and place on the rail where to hit the cue ball. In most cases contact with Tubal was too thin or too thick, but then I found this nice hit where Tubal landed on the top short rail in a very safe place.
When you to see this other effective kick and stick executed this time by Polish Eagle Wojciech Szewczyk. From the very beginning I had big problem to hit the cue ball with correct spin and speed. On my table cloth is a bit older what resulted that it was very hard to produce good contact with two ball. I needed to play a lot of English and use very low speed and after many very bad tries I found this good contact with two ball what resulted with effective save. He will land it very high, but the result is absolutely acceptable. We need to move forward to see this another spectacular kick combo by Eklund Kachi in the final match with Fedor Gors. This shot only looks very easy, but the reality was completely different. Hitting this combination was not very hard, but I needed to do this with correct speed. Despite the fact that it was aligned perfectly at the pocket, in most cases I was not able to make this ball. And this was caused by the fact that if I played too lightly, then we experience cut induced roll factor, which pushes 9 ball to the outside. This forced me to use more speed and touch off left hand English to avoid hitting 6 ball first. And after very bad attempts and very close hits, I found this optimal contact and with a bit of luck, 9 ball ended inside the pockets. Fifth place in my classification goes to this massive freel kick and stick presented by Shane Van Bonning against Wojciech Szewczyk. And as I expected, I had a big problem to find correct path for the cue ball to after contact with two ball stop it in place. But then came this attempt when this contact was a bit too thin, but with touch of luck I produced a very nice safety shot which is absolutely acceptable. The last place behind the podium goes to this incredible kick shot with perfect positioning by Johan Chua. Free ball was far away from the pocket and that was biggest challenge in that shot. But to my surprise it didn't take me a lot of time because I found this perfect contact and recreated this shot with very high accuracy in my ninth attempts. I decided to give third place on the podium to this unbelievable kick shot by Masato Yoshioka, where he simultaneously caused the cue ball to open blocked free ball and top half of the table. This shot was absolutely stunning, and I needed to hit long rail a bit further and use more speed with low spin to hit two ball from a bit higher angle. Only with this contact, Kewal was able to go towards blocked balls and despite initial problems to find this correct hit, I was able to recreate this shot very quickly with ultra high accuracy, what was big shock for me. Johan Shua played one of the best tournaments of his life and he lands on second place on the podium with this offensive and aggressive two-way kick combo. And this shot was absolutely huge problem for me because I couldn't find this perfect contact with free ball and hit 9 ball in correct points. I was completely frustrated and I thought that it would be impossible to find this effective hit. But after many very bad shots and some close hits, I was able to recreate this shot with high accuracy in my 41st attempt. And finally, first place on the podium and the best shot of 2024 World Pool Championship goes to another Filipino Bernie Reglario 
and this unbelievable kick shot. I thought that this shot will be much easier to execute, but then I saw this very uncomfortable position of the cue and fact that I needed to elevate my cue very high and hit long rail first, right before the corner pocket. Additionally, I needed to apply a lot of left hand English because on my bit older claw, it was difficult to produce correct path after contact with rails. I tried unsuccessfully very long and in most cases I wasn't even close to hit 4 ball. But then came this moment when I was able to hit cue ball with correct speed and spin and cause it to pot 4 ball effectively in my 13th attempt. To be absolutely honest with you, that was one of the most difficult episodes to produce for me. And if you appreciate my work, then please consider leaving a thumbs up for me and hit the subscribe button to never miss videos from Recreated Series. And it will be awesome if you let me know in the comments what do you think about my classification and which shot was best in your opinion. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. Take care.